Hello, I'm Tony from Bonners Music. We've got two very large keyboard and piano centres. One is located in Rygate in Surrey, just off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway, and the other one is on the Sussex coast in Eastbourne. And at both of these set of keyboard centres, you can see the new Kawai MP11 SE stage piano. So the MP11 SE is the brand new flagship model from Kawai. The SE stands for second edition. Some people think it stands for uh, Shigeru edition and that's because this instrument does have some sounds and samples from uh, the Kawai top of the range concert grand piano which is the Shigeru Kawai EX concert grand. So let's start off by taking a listen to some of the piano sounds that are in this instrument. We're going to start off with the concert grand piano sound and this is the beautiful tone of the Shigeru Kawai EX. So altering the sound on the MP11 SE is very, very simple. For example, if we want to add a little bit more reverb to the sound, then we can just hold down the reverb button for a couple of seconds, and that brings up all the reverb parameters on the screen. And we just use the controls to the side of the screen to change the amount of reverb that we want associated with the sound. So there are three distinctive piano voices within the concert piano section of the MP11 SE. Uh, you've already heard the Shigeru Kawai EX concert grand piano sound. There's also the mid-sized piano, the Shigeru Kawai SK5. This is a mid-sized grand piano and it has a more sort of intimate tonal character. And the third and final piano sound, which is within the concert piano section of the MP11 SE, is the original sound that was on the, MP, on the standard MP11 edition, and this is the Kawai EX Concert Grand. So this is a full-size Concert Grand piano. It's the older Concert Grand that was the forerunner to the Shigeru Kawai EX Grand Piano. The philosophy behind Kawai's MP11 SE stage piano is to give the very, very best piano experience that they possibly can in a portable instrument. Um, so as well as having Kawai's very, very best piano samples from their Shigeru Kawai pianos, um, the MP11 SE also uses Kawai's grand feel keyboard action, which I have a little sample of here so you can see what's actually happening inside the keyboard. Um, the, as you can see, this keyboard action has nice long wood and keys and the fulcrum which is this pivot point here the the length between the key and that point there is the same as what you would find on a grand piano and what that means as a player is that you have so much control over the uh, expression 
uh, within your performance um, and much more than you would with a standard plastic keyboard with shorter keys that you would find in most other stage instruments. Um, the uh, grand feel keyboard action has hammers at the end of it here um, and it really does make for a great uh, piano experience and I would encourage you to come to one of our stores and actually try the MP11 SE for yourself. So in addition to great piano sound and lovely keyboard action, Kawai have updated the uh, triple foot pedal that comes with the MP11. Um, the old model used to be made by Fatar, um, who are a third party manufacturer of pedals and keyboard accessories, but Kawai have now designed their own foot pedals um, and this comes in the box with the MP11 SE um, and it uses opt optical sensors rather than um, analog potentiometers to um, uh, when, the, when the mechanism is being pushed. So what it means is you've got a lot more control over the pedaling that you never had before and this is all three pedals are using optical sensors, not just the sustain pedal um, and also the the, the pedals themselves are graded so um, they all feel slightly different which is how um, a true acoustic grand piano would feel. So the three things combined do make for a really fantastic uh, playing experience of a stage piano um, and like I say please do come along and try this for yourself. So the MP11 SE has three main sound categories. You have the piano section, you have the electric piano section, you have a third section which Kawai have called sub. Now what you can do is actually switch all three parts on together if you want to, so you can actually layer up to three voices together. So let's take a quick look at some of the uh, electric piano voices. Um, so first of all we'll take a look at your sort of standard Fender Rhodes type piano sound. And now let's use the amp simulator effect to add a little bit of uh, overdrive to the road sound. So there's a really good range of electronic piano sounds. There is also some good clav sounds, the clavinet sounds that is. So these are very popular with stage players. Uh, quite a funky little groove you can get going with these. And at this point I should also mention that there are also multi effects that you can add. So let's listen to the clav voice first of all with no multi effect on it. <laughs> And now we're going to listen to the same voice but add the auto wire effect as well. Now we're going to take a listen to some of the sounds that are in the subsection. So here you'll find strings and pad voices and a few other sort of percussion sounds like vibraphone and glockenspiel. Um, and you can layer sounds together as well, which is really nice by switching on the individual sections all together. This is one of my favourite combinations of sounds here. I've taken the modern electric piano and I've layered it with an acoustic piano and added some chorus. Um, and it's great for some sort of 1980s sounding ballads. And now we have a combination of a jazz piano in the right hand 
and an acoustic bass in the left hand which also has a ride symbol on every note. And here we have a split keyboard combination with an electric piano in the right hand and an electric bass in the left hand. So let's just take a quick look at the panel layout of the MP11SE. On the far left we have the pitch bend and modulation wheels. Then we have the volume controls, so you've got your master volume and you also have a volume control for a line input so you could use perhaps a, um, an MP3 player or a mobile phone or even a CD player or something to plug into the audio input on the back and that is mixed with the output of the, of the piano itself. So great if you want to play along with things or you have a laptop and you don't have a mixer, you can plug the output of that into the MP11SE. So moving along from there we have the three different sound sections. We have the piano section, the e-piano or electric piano section and the sub section as well. Each of these sound sections can be allocated to either the upper or the lower uh, sections of the keyboard if you have the keyboard split or of course they can be played across the whole 88 note range. We then move to the centre of the uh, panel where you have your uh, control interface, your LCD screen and the four knobs around the side of the screen which correspond to whatever parameters are on the screen at that time. It's a very easy control interface actually um, and the, uh, the LCD display is backlit of course so if on dark stages you can still see it very clearly uh, but it's quite intuitive and very very simple to use. As we move along to the right hand side of the panel you have your setup buttons. Now what these are are where you can store your own settings. So if you layer sounds or split the keyboard or change an EQ setting um, for playing a particular piece of music or song you can then store that as what Kawhi call a setup. And there are multiple setups that you can store within the MP11SE. The MP11SE has a very powerful uh, graphic equaliser built into it and you can really change the tone of the piano sound by playing around with the EQ settings. Uh, there's a transpose button which is located nice and easy to hand for when you're playing with, uh, with singers or other instruments in different keys. Um, and then you also have four MIDI zones as well as your internal three sounds from the internal tone generator. You, the MP11SE is a very powerful MIDI controller and it can control up to four other MIDI parts or MIDI sound modules um, and they can be switched on and off independently using the uh, MIDI zone buttons on the right hand side. So the MP11SE has fantastic sounds and what's even better is that you can record your performance using the onboard audio recorder. It records uh, in an uncompressed uh, WAV file format, so you're getting the very, very best quality possible from the MP11SE, and it records onto a USB stick, which you just plug into the front of the control panel just here, and you can then upload that file to the internet or share it with your friends, burn a disc, whatever you need to do, but it's in a format that is widely read by pretty much every audio device on the planet nowadays, so that's a really welcome feature. So let's take a look around the back of the MP11SE. First of all you'll see we've got quarter inch jack outputs as well as XLR outputs and the XLR outputs are ideal for stage players so you can plug directly into a mixing desk or a stage box without the need for a DI box in between. Um, we have quarter inch jack inputs which um, I showed you earlier you have a separate line in volume control on the front panel. We have the pedal input for the GFP3 triple pedal unit 
and it's possible to plug in an expression pedal and a second foot switch. So the second foot switch could turn on and off the effects, for instance. Um, and as we move along, we have the USB to computer connection and there are three MIDI sockets, traditional five pin MIDI sockets in, out and through. So that brings me to the end of my very quick Kawai MP11 SE demonstration. As you can see, it really is a top quality product. It's very, very well built. It has excellent sounds. Kawai have really thought about the experience for the player. Uh, more than anything, it's not full of gadgets, it's just full of great sounds and a great feel to the keyboard. Um, I would encourage you to come and have a try of this piano yourself um, at either one of our stores. But in the meantime, if you have any questions or you'd like to talk to us about stage pianos, you can contact us using the links below this video. So thank you very much for watching and uh, please take a look at some of our other demonstration videos and I'll see you in the next one.